All right, we should be going live here. All right, we're going live now. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over a bunch of tracks. These are all the songs that were released recently on all the major distribution platforms you see just above me, the Apple, and then you should see the Instagram icon because uh, all of these songs, if you search Stashbox, when you're making a story on Facebook, Instagram, or TikTok, then you can pull up this music and maybe create a cool little TikTok video of the dancing to Sexy 2 or something. But uh, these first batch of songs are from actually 1996 at Big Time Audio in Dallas, Texas, with myself on guitar, Joe Lovett singing, Brian Couch on bass, and uh, some guy named Mike on drums. I forget his last name. Anyways, the producer guy was really great, and he just basically got about six tracks out of us that night, that day. And this is Sun Ra. This is actually the last one we recorded because I remember everybody was carrying all the gear out of the, the, the room when uh, I was doing the last like solo. So I kind of only had one shot at it and that was it. So here's what we did with that one. So here is Sun Ra.
Sunra, I love that song. <clears throat> okay, this next one is also from the 1996 session at Big Time Audio in Dallas, Texas. Um, this one is called Nonchalant in the Casual Way. And this is, you know, like when you're a young guy and you wanna impress some girl with the music that you make and stuff like that. And that's what this song's about. Giving some girl your music on a tape, back when there was tapes. And uh, that's what this song's about. So it's called Nonchalant in the Casual Way.
Nonchalant, the casual way. It's a great song. It's a two chord song. It's got a full journey in it. So this song is called Santa Barbara and not all songs are what you take them on face value. There's a lot of innuendo in songs sometimes for different reasons. So this song is heavily innuendoed of the real reason of the existence of this song. So this song is called Santa Barbara.
That's House on the Hill. Great tune, great classic blues. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up the next shot here. And uh, let's see, the next song is going to be I'm Waiting. I'm Waiting, I wrote that while I was in like a study group in college. I was staring out the window behind, behind the study group and um, uh, all my friends were in the swimming pool. <laughs> and so uh, I ended up going out there when I was done, got the work done first, but then uh, this song was kind of about going out there, hanging out, having a lot of fun. So this is called I'm Waiting. Come 
I was kind of waiting. <clears throat> that was like kind of like our big closing song that we would do. Uh, and then when we do shows in Dallas, God, I don't even remember the name, nothing than Deep Elm and Club Dada and a Lemon Bar. Man, that was so long ago. Okay, so the next song is not from that session. Those are, that was the six pack of remastered songs. This next one is called Sexy Two. It's like a dance song, a very cool original uh, EDM or, well, whatever, dance music kind of song. So here is Sexy Two. Okay, so so sexy two, where are you? Sexy two, where are you? Sexy two. Let's see what we can do here about queuing up sexy two. Got this. There it is.
All right. So this next one is uh, called Ode to Less. So this song is about Les Claypool. I saw him in concert. And then uh, a week later, I sat there for about 14 hours and made this song just by myself and uh, through this like journey through genres of music. And it's just kind of like an ode to Les Claypool and the kind of the vibes of Primus that I saw at that little bar at his uh, purple pachyderm something wine opening um, event that he had that I happened to be lucky to be a, to go to because it was by my house where and by his house where I used to live in Sonoma, California. So now this one is called Ode to Less.
Right. That was Ode Less. It's a great kind of cross-genre kind of song. It'd be a great song to play live, wouldn't it? Um, super funk. This is a six-part EP. It's kind of an electronic funk, and it is uh, a very cool, groovy kind of journey also through genres and uh, styles of music from around the world. And so this is a very New York, it has a, sort of a couple of New York parts on it. But uh, let's listen to Super Funk. We'll start with part one. Super Funk part one is right here. <laughs> Part two of Super Funk. Thank you. 
All right, that was part two. Here's Super Funk part three. Coming up here in a second is going to be an actual like video, band video. super funk it's most of part three so what we're gonna do is we're gonna hop over now to some live band action so here is a uh, Billy Mays <laughs> <laughs> 